Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be solving for the integral of cosecant cubed x dx. The first thing we want to do here is change the cosecant cubed x so that we would have cosecant x times cosecant squared x and the x. We're, well, so we're going to be using the integration by parts and integration by parts says that the integral of f prime times g is equal to f times g minus the integral of f times g prime. We're going to set f prime is equal to cosecant squared x which would give us the value of f, which is integral of cosecant squared x, which is negative cotangent x. We're going to set g equal to cosecant x, which would, which would give us the g prime, which is the derivative of cosecant x and that is negative cosecant x times cotangent x. Using what we found, we're going to put everything into this equation. f is equal to negative cotangent x and times that by g, which is equal to cosecant x. Subtract that with the integral of f, which is equal to negative cotangent x, and multiply that by g prime, which is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x. We're going to multiply these two together, but of course, negative cotangent x times cosecant x can stay the same. We have two negatives here, and that cancels out. We would, then we would have the integral of cosecant x times, we have two cotangents, so cotangent squared x, and finally dx. We're going to use um, the Pythagorean identities and one of the Pythagorean identities are 1 plus cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x. But we're going to try to, we're going to um, replace cotangent squared x so we're going to have to replace cotangent squared x. This equation would give us cotangent squared x as cosecant squared x minus 1. So we're just going to replace the cotangent squared x with cosecant squared x minus 1. Again, this can stay the same minus integral of cosecant x times cotangent squared x, which is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1. This is what we just found there. And we're going to multiply these two together. And, we, and we're going to separate the two integrands so that we would have two different integra integrals. Minus the integral of cosecant x times cosecant squared x, which is equal to cosecant cubed x. And we have, and we're going to multiply cosecant x times negative 1, but we already have negative here, so that would be a positive plus integral of cosecant x dx. And this may seem familiar to you, 
the integral of cosecant cubed x dx because that's what we're trying to solve for in the beginning. So what we, what we can do is we can say that the integral of cosecant cubed x dx is equal to what we have here because it is and we're going to add the integral of cosecant cubed x dx on both sides which would get us 2 times the integral of cosecant cubed x dx is equal to what the rest of these. Well, except this. We can uh, divide 2 on both sides, but before I do that, I'm going to solve for the integral of cosecant x dx, but not really because I did that in my last video, so go see that. And I'm just going to skip ahead and say that the integral of cosecant cubed x dx is equal to 1 half times, because we divided 2 on both sides, 1 half times negative, negative cotangent x times cosecant x and minus, oh wait, no, plus, the integral of cosecant x dx is equal to ln absolute value, ln absolute value of cosecant x minus cotangent x. Wait, but we are done integraling this, so we have to add a constant. But, so, this is plus c. So this is our answer for the integral of cosecant cubed x dx. I hope you guys learned something from watching this video and have a great day.